Hello and happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to your math video for today. Today is Friday, January 29th, and we're gonna have a great day of math. We don't have tons and tons to do. We're gonna do some fun practice together, and it'll just be wonderful. So if you're looking to have your work ready, it has two frogs on the top. One is holding a heart, because we're getting close to Valentine's Day. And then we are going to practice some of these, adding 10, adding with 10, adding up to 10. And then I'm going to let you work on your own. So today's math video will not actually be too, too long. So what we're gonna do is I have two dice here with me today. They look like this, right? These are called dice. And I'm gonna roll these dice and I'm going to see what two numbers come up. We're gonna add those two numbers together and that will tell us how many problems are we gonna do together. Sound fun? All right, here we go, ready? I'm gonna roll the dice and I'm gonna kinda toss them. Ooh, you guys are lucky. Six and six, that's a double. We know how to do that double, don't we? Six plus six equals 12. Six plus six equals 12. Good job, so that means we are going to do 12 problems together. Now what do you think? Should we do 12 problems in a row or should we just pick and choose 12 problems? What do you think? What should we do? Should we do 12 problems in a row or pick and choose? Probably easier if we do 12 in a row, right? That way we can stick together. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We are gonna do these problems together. Can you circle those problems like me? We started up here at three plus seven, and guess what, our last one's gonna be seven plus three, it's just the turnaround of that one. So circle those 12 problems, those are the ones that we are going to do together. Okay, so we have talked all about adding with 10 up to 10. We've talked about some 10 frames a little bit. Today we're gonna do some together. Let's talk about our different ways we can solve these. So the first one says three plus seven. Three plus seven, hmm. Now I'm gonna show you, just for an example, what this would look like in a 10 frame. Now remember, a 10 frame is kind of like this big box, and we put 10 squares in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And it represents the number 10. And we can put little dots in these squares to see like how close we get to filling it up. So if I have three plus seven, that means I have three is what I started with, right? I had three that I started with and I'm gonna switch colors here. And how many more did I add? I added seven, so let's see how many that'll give us all together. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. <gasps> Wait, I filled up every box. How many boxes did I say that there was? What was this called? This is called a 10 frame. So how many boxes are in my 10 frame? How many boxes are in, like this is kind of the frame on the outside and 10 frame means that there's 10 boxes. So if I had three blue dots and I added seven orange dots and I filled up the whole 10 frame, what does that equal? 10. Good. That is something that we're really going to keep working on is that 10 frame. Otherwise, you can just count up two. You can do touch points. So if I do seven plus three, I can say seven, eight, nine, ten. Or I could say seven, eight, nine, ten, and count those touch points on the number three. Any way you want to do it, your answer is going to be 10. 
All righty. Our next one is 10 plus 3. Ooh, so remember kind of a trick is that when you have a 0 and you're adding plus 3, it kind of stays the same. It kind of stays the same. We're just going to put a 1 in front of it, right? 10 plus 3. We can also count up and say 10, 11, 12, 13. But you can also know that by looking at it, 10 plus 3, you just kind of put the 3 there instead of the 0, so it's going to be 13. What? Pretty cool. You could also draw a 10 frame, and you would have to fill up a whole 10 frame because there's 10, and make a second 10 frame, and you'd fill in just three of them, and then you would count them all up. Our next one is 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6. What strategy should we use? Let's do touch points. I'm going to start with the big number 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Our answer is 10. So we have 10, 13, 10. It's, we'll see if it's a pattern. Hmm, how about this one, zero plus zero? What? If I have nothing and I add nothing to it, what's left? Nothing, zero. Zero is the answer. Zero plus zero equals zero. So remember, this is called adding our parts, and the whole is the answer that we're getting. Here's 10 plus 6. Do you remember the trick that we talked about? You take out the 0 and add a 6. 16. Keep the 1 there. And that's only when you have like the number 10 that ends in a 0. And you have just a 6 when you're adding a single number to it. You can do that. You can also count up and you can say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 9 plus 3, that's a pretty quick, easy count on. 9, 10, 11, 12. Eight plus two, those are good friends. What do they add up to meet? What do they add up to meet? Not to meet, to make, silly Mrs. Durham. As soon as I said it, I said that didn't sound right. 8 plus 2, what do those add up to make? They make 10. 10 is their friend. 8 plus 2 is 10. Also is another quick count on 8, 9, 10. 10 plus 9, there's that 10 trick again. You can just put the 9 instead of the 0. So 1, 9, 19. Quick, quick. 2 plus 9. Let's start with the big number 9 and let's count up. 9, 10, 11. 11 is your answer. Three more to do together. We are adding with 10 up to 10. You guys are doing a wonderful job. 10 plus 6. There's that 10 trick again. Take out the 0, just add the 6. 16. 3 plus 6. Now we did 6 plus 4, which was 10. So 6 plus 3 would just be 1 less because 3 is 1 smaller than 4. So 6 plus 4 was 10. So 6 plus 3 is 9. It's good to recognize those patterns and see how other problems can help you solve new ones. And we did 3 plus 7 is here. Now we're doing 7 plus 3. That's the turnaround. What is our answer of that turnaround? Same answer as 3 plus 7. It's the same numbers, just switched around. Our answer is 10. Very nice. The rest are all, keep practicing that. These just turn sideways, but they're the same problems. This little frog says use the 10 frame. If you like to make 10 frames, you can to help you if needed. Otherwise, if you can count up or use... Um, doubles plus one, doubles minus one, if you can use doubles, 
If you can use just similar facts to help you, whatever helps you is great. So you are going to finish the rest on your own, and then you will either turn it in um, to your teacher, submit a picture, or in class, however your class does it. But that is all I have for math today. Go ahead and take the time to finish that, please. And we'll see you next week for more addition. Great job working on this today. Bye.